In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for strontium hydroxide plus iron 2 sulfate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation here, and it's already balanced. So that's kind of nice. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So strontium hydroxide, one you should recognize as a strong base, and we consider it a strong electrolyte for these net ionic equations. We're going to call that aqueous. It'll dissolve and dissociate. Sulfates in general are soluble. Iron sulfate, that's soluble. This is iron 2 sulfate. So that'll be aqueous to dissolve, dissociate into its ions. There are a few exceptions to the rule, though, that sulfates are soluble. One of the exceptions is strontium sulfate. So strontium sulfate is insoluble. So these two substances react. This is an insoluble product, and it's going to be a solid. Since it's a solid, it falls to the bottom of the test tube. This is a precipitate. So we have a precipitate forming in this reaction. And then iron 2 hydroxide. Hydroxides are poorly soluble. We say slightly soluble. So for net ionic equations, this is also going to be considered a solid. So we're going to have two precipitates in this reaction when these two substances react here. We should note that like this iron 2 hydroxide, strontium sulfate is slightly soluble. A little bit will dissolve, but for the purpose of net ionic equations, we're calling this a solid, a precipitate. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Strontium's in group 2 on the periodic table. It'll have an ionic charge of 2 plus. And then the hydroxide, the whole thing is always 1 minus. So we have our strontium ion, that SR2 plus. Then we have two of these hydroxide ions, OH minus. Iron is a transition metal, so we don't really know the charge. We can look at the sulfate, though. The whole sulfate is 2 minus. Good one to remember. So the iron has to be 2 plus. So we have our iron 2 ion, and then we have that sulfate ion. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. They're not split apart in the test tube, so we're not going to split them apart in our equation. So we just write SRSO4, and then same thing for the iron 2 hydroxide. It's a solid, so we don't split it apart. And this is the complete ionic equation. At this point, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. The thing is, Everything here in the reactants is different than everything in the products, so we can't cross out any spectator ions. So the complete ionic equation, that's the same as the net ionic equation. So this is both the complete and net ionic equation for SrOH2 plus FeSO4. Let me clean this up, write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for strontium hydroxide plus iron 2 sulfate. You'll note that charge is conserved. If you add up all these charges here, 2 plus, 2 times 1 minus, 2 plus, 2 minus, and in the products, these are all neutral compounds, so their charges all add up to zero. Charge is balanced or conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for strontium hydroxide plus iron 2 sulfate. Thanks for watching.